Somebody just want to drive down my street loud as hell. And this is like, what the? Can it, you let me film? It was quiet as heck on these streets yesterday. Whatever. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, <laughs> ah, we talk about a little something. So I'm starting to know some of y'all like, okay, girl. Y'all, she's a little moment. She's just a little moment. Um, just specifically for this makeup look as y'all can see by the title of today's makeup look I'm doing a vampire makeup look I'm super excited I've been wanting to do this since I started getting into makeup but I don't know I just felt like the vampire look is such a classic Halloween look but at the same time I haven't done it yet so I'm like why not do it this year so I'm definitely going to be doing that and I thought to add in well, let's just get so some length you know what I'm saying give myself some length for this makeup look um and this will not be the last time you see this hairstyle by the way just saying just saying I really do like it though she's cute I feel like a black Barbie I feel like a cute black Barbie doll slash Ariana Grande I want it I got it and I want it I got it I could have been in that music video I want it I got, got it. it yeah I want it I got it let's not get distracted on what's the real point <laughs> of today's video which is my vampire makeup look now I have three three different inspirations for this Halloween look that I'm trying to create and they're all three makeup tutorials and I'm gonna basically take inspiration from all three of those videos and combine them all together to create my ultimate vampire makeup look and I will link all those three makeup tutorials in the description box down below um, so that way you guys can go check them out and you guys can go see what inspired this makeup look today um, but yeah you guys that is pretty much the point of the video super super simple you guys are gonna see me transform um, and surprisingly for this one we are going to be doing the base of the face on camera we're going to be doing a little bit of the base of the face on camera which I'm very excited for I know you guys are excited to see me do my base of the face on camera I've been doing it off camera for so long so it's like I know you're like finally finally but before we get into this video why don't you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay subscribe to your girls channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you have to be notified every time I upload a new video here onto my channel as well and don't forget to follow your girl all of her social medias which is her Instagram and her Twitter you guys already know what's up with that I am really super excited for today's look you guys this is the second to last Halloween look finally I know you girls have been finessing with the looks to get it through as much as possible but you know what we made it we made it we got one more look left and I really think you guys are gonna love the last look y'all I'm nervous for it but we'll get to that when it's time but until then without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video hey you guys so as you guys can see your girl went ahead and did them eyebrows off camera i just used the anastasia beverly hill dip brow in the shade ebony my go-to and of course i went ahead and primed off camera using the covergirl full spectrum all matte 
primer in the t-zone areas and then i went ahead and specifically put the pop beauty 24k face base beauty blend radiance primer just within the bottom half of my face and then of course i'm going to go ahead and color correct using the black radiance beauty sculptor color corrector you guys already know i'm just taking a wedge sponge and i'm just patting that in under my under eyes um on my little peach fuzz and around my mouth and my chin this is like my go-to thing i usually do this within every makeup look and now i'm using the full spectrum foundation by covergirl in the shade deep golden 2 and I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and start pouncing that in. I decided to use two shades of foundation. One shade that kind of matches my um, complexion a lot more better. And then I thought to go in with a little bit of a lighter shade. This is the CoverGirl True Blend All Matte Made Foundation in the shade D70, which is one shade lighter than my go-to shade which is d80 and i just went ahead and patted that in um from the top half of my face and then i also went <laughs> girl was struggling y'all and i also went ahead and blended that in um a little bit on top of the full spectrum foundation we just cover girling it up with the foundations y'all okay but both of these foundations are really really good and then of course we're going to be doing two concealers for that for the extra coverage the first one i'm using is one i really like i've been using it lately off camera i haven't really been presenting it to you guys but this is the rimmel london stay matte concealer in the shade almond and then this this is a new one honey this is the covergirl true blend matte made um concealer and that is in the shade golden honey tan and i'm going ahead and did this one just because it's more of my go-to concealer um it's definitely more on the warm side so this is just an amazing thing for me and i'm also keeping that concealer within the under eyes i'm not taking it all the way outwards to the face like i would usually do even though i know it's not good because it makes your face look more rounder but i'd be doing it anyways um and of course the second concealer this is to help brighten up my t-zone and i also went ahead and took some concealer on the back of my hand and i dragged it across my contour line because i really want that area to be highlighted as well because you have to think about it with vampires we kind of look like we're low-key dead zombies you know what i mean so you have to make sure that highlighted area is very highlighted and also blended and of course we are going to cream contour y'all i haven't cream contoured in so long but this is the black radiance foundation stick in the shade X espresso um i don't have the number but the number will be put in the description box down below but it is in the shade espresso and this is the darkest shade that they have so i just went ahead and did some dashes around across my forehead and around my temple of course i brought it down to my contour line and then i also we went ahead and cream contour this nose honey now for the contour line we're actually just taking that straight down and then we're bringing it almost halfway towards the chin um this is definitely inspired um contour i've never done this type of contouring before so this was a first time experience for me but it actually looks really really good so i think i i did that and of course i went ahead and blended out my nose contour with a brush this is my first time blending out my nose contour y'all with a brush i usually do a small little itty bitty beauty sponge but the the brush actually worked pretty well i was actually shooketh i was shooketh and of course, to set all of that, we are going to be using the Makeup Revolution Deep Banana uh, Translucent Powder. And of course, I just went ahead and just set the whole entire um, T-zone areas. And also, you also want to make sure that you're setting under that contour because that is going to be area that we are highlighting at. And then, of course, when it comes to um, setting your t-zone areas and the rest of your face you definitely want to start damping some of that excess powder from the sponge onto your palm of your hand and then this is a go-to step i usually always do within every single makeup tutorial of mine is i always dust off any excess powder even though you already do it when you're damping it on your hand this is just a double triple quadruple check to make sure you don't have so much powder on you within your face and it's not taking off any of the translucent powder that you already set but just any access that could just be a little too too much now i am going to go ahead and <laughs> use this half broken small precise powder brush and i'm just going to go ahead and apply that on top of the translucent powder i'm using the true blend um face powder in the shade coca c8 coca and then i'm also using a full spectrum foundation face powder by covergirl um and i'll have that in the um description box down below for you guys as well 
but these are my two go-to's and I'm just literally applying that everywhere in the face even over my contour just to kind of blend any harsh lines and then of course we gotta go ahead and set the face so we can blend all of that in and we're just gonna go ahead and fan all of that away gotta make sure that is completely set honey do y'all see that contour yes darling and then now we are going to go ahead and set with a little bit more of a brighter translucent powder. This is the Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette. It is very dirty and trashy, y'all. It's ready to be thrown in the trash, but I'm still going to use whatever powder is left, which is within the banana shade. And I'm just going to really set under my under eyes. And I'm dragging it towards the end of um, the pretty much towards the end of the brow just in case we have any fallout and I went ahead and kind of did it towards my nose and definitely baked around my contour and now as y'all can see your girl took some of that CoverGirl concealer and I went ahead and primed my eyelids and I'm going to go ahead and set that concealer with the Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette within that banana shade with a flat precise eyeshadow brush once again now i'm going to take a wet and well blending brush and we're going to dip into the bh cosmetics eyeshadow palette you guys can't see it but i promise you this is the bh cosmetics palette i'm taking that vibrant purple and i'm just going to start using that within the transition shade now at first i thought i was messing up because i wanted to do a brown then transition it to purple and then a smoky black but you can do it either way you can go brown to purple or you can go purple to brown i really thought it was going to get patchy and messed up once i did this but it actually blended out pretty damn good y'all like do y'all see that and i took a little bit of purple sugar 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 <laughs> took that purple blended in with the brown just to kind of you know blend both of those shades together and then usually you can set you can start off with your smoky eye with a cream product like an eyeliner pencil and then add the black eyeshadow on top of that but we we went a little ghetto okay we just applied black eyeshadow with a small precise eyeshadow brush and just blended it in with the brown and voila you got a smoky eye now i'm just taking a very rough stippled powder brush and i'm basically just wiping away all that bake and then now we are finally going to be contouring. Don't mind me, y'all. I was listening to music. I was jamming out. <laughs> so now I'm just taking my contour brush and I'm just going to go ahead and contour slash bronze. And this is with the um, Black Radiance Beauty um, Contour Palette in the shade Medium Dark. And of course, I'm just going along the lines that we did within our cream contour, basically just setting all of that into place. And then we're also going to take some of that vibrant purple eyeshadow along with some dark purple eyeshadow and we're going to be applying that on top of the contour. Now you don't have to do this. This is definitely very optional but it just really made the look come together just with adding that purple within your contour, your temple. You know what I'm saying? Like do y'all see that? Oh, and of course your girl went ahead and just went ahead and um, contour within the... Um, collarbone and I also really defined some lines within my neck and I also highlighted it off camera within the inner corner brow bone and nose and I applied lashes off camera okay but of course now I'm lip lined my lips with the Nikka K New York lip liner in dark brown and now I'm taking this um, very beautiful red lipstick by Black Opal Beauty in the shade Vampy Red and I'm just applying that over it's been a minute y'all since your girl wore red lip okay it's been a minute it's been such a long time and now I'm just taking my black eyeliner pencil and I'm just vamping up the lips by just adding that within the inner corners and around the perimeter of the lips as well and then I also took this small precise paint brush and I just went ahead and added some of that red lipstick within my bottom waterline you don't have to do that but I just did it anyways and so now we're finally going to start smoking out the um, under eyes and the bottom lash line so first you want to start with black then you want to go in with the brown and then you want to add the purple and then you can also add some red into it as well you can pack on as much as you can but please just make sure you're blending it out as you go along just so that way it won't look too crazy and then I thought to add some effect to my lips I just thought to add some of that red eyeshadow and just lightly tap it around the lips to just make it look like your girl's been eating somebody up pre-done you know what I mean just y'all know what I mean 
And now I'm taking the CoverGirl Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Brown. And I'm going to go ahead and create these vampire bangs. Bangs? Really? Bangs? Okay. Vampire... I was about to say fangs. Oh my god, y'all. I can't say anything right now. Vampire veins. Veins. Veins, y'all. I'm creating that under my under eyes. And I also did it on the temples of... Um, my head <laughs> it's not too hard to do you just really want to take your time with it and you can make it as defined if you want as as you want or you can make it as light as you want it really all depends on you and now i'm just taking some um halloween makeup latex and i'm going to be creating these two um vampire bites within the middle of my neck just so that way whenever i lift up my head and i just do my little you know dramatic turns or whatever you guys can see that your girl has already been bitten by the vampire Bryson Tiller um so <laughs> that's how your girl got turned to a vampire know what I'm saying but basically I just took some brown eyeshadow um and some burgundy eyeshadow from the Morphe brushes eyeshadow Morphe brushes yeah eyeshadow palette ring the alarm Jaclyn Hill collab and I smoked out that and then I just added some black paint within those bites and then I added some fake vampire blood within around my mouth and on top of those vampire bites and yeah and added a little bit of setting spray you guys and that's pretty much it to the finished look that is all your girl did voila bon appetit hope you guys really really enjoyed this okay you guys and this is the finished look i personally love it so so much it came out exactly the way i wanted it to come out within everything i'm talking about from lips to the eyes to the veins um the only struggle i could say i had throughout this whole process was the veins morally on my temples because i have so much baby hairs everywhere it was it was a little chaotic but at the end of the day it turned out pretty decent i personally think in my opinion if you want to add more veins personally can um i just added personally enough that i thought would fit for the look um and there is one thing i am going to do so i'm just going to mention it right here right now on camera that i will be editing my eyes to make them look a little bit more dark red almost to like a burgundy in a way to kind of really bring that vampire sense um within the whole makeup look itself but this is what it originally looks like with my beautiful brown eyes i just feel so sultry you know what i mean like i didn't mean to turn to like a sultry vampire look but it just kind of just kind of turned out that way you know what i mean so i just personally love it um of course i'm probably gonna have to keep applying blood within like every five seconds because y'all don't know fake blood dries very quickly um so that's why they say take the pictures when you can do your videos when you can because it definitely does uh dry down very quickly but also so, I do have my fake vampire teeth. Um, I'm not going to put them on right now because I'm not taking pictures and I want you to be able to understand what I'm saying. But in the picture, you definitely will see some fake vampire teeth. They barely can fit my damn teeth, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> Guys, if you like this makeup look, if you like the tutorial, if you like how it all came out all together, why don't you guys go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up and then comment down below any other makeup look suggestions that you would like your girl to do here onto her channel um and then watch you guys also go ahead and hit that subscribe button subscribe to your girl's channel okay and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you have to be notified every time i upload a new video here onto my channel as well do not forget to follow your girl on all of her social medias which is her instagram and her twitter you guys already know what's up with all that and then do not forget to also comment down below if you guys like this look if you guys really do like the way it came out with the hair i just think it, it came out exactly the way i wanted it to come out so i love it i'm in love with it but let me go off y'all so i can go ahead and take these two guys next time bye Fuck up my sex.